Hi, I'm Eddie with Dream Factory, and in my last Salesforce video, I highlighted how easy it is to integrate and modify your data in the form of a REST API using our software. Today, I'll walk you through the steps of taking your newly created Salesforce API and syncing it with a MySQL database. I'll be using a table from my Salesforce data labeled account and specifying values I'd like to duplicate. First, navigate to your API docs tab and use the get method on the endpoint within the Salesforce API. The event script I'll be using will copy over the name and billing city values after this endpoint is called and will run a post to the MySQL API. Next, navigate to the Scripts tab at the top of your page. Here, you should see a list of configured services within your instance that can all be targeted by event scripting. Select the Salesforce service and the endpoint you'd like to target. Because I want my script to run after the call is made, I'll be using a post process script on my endpoint. For this example, I'll be using our PHP scripting engine, but you'll notice that Dream Factory also supports Node.js, Python, and Python 3. Be sure to select the two radios on the left beneath the scripting engine options before saving the script. Now, just for safe measure, I'm going to clear the system cache under the config tab to ensure the changes are picked up. Note that within the MySQL API, I created a table called billing that is currently empty and when called will return a blank array. However, you can see that I have a billing table structured within my database with two fields labeled name and billing city. Next, navigate back to the Salesforce API from your API docs tab and select the endpoint that has a newly created script attached. If you see a blank key and a value of null within the resource array, you can ignore this message for now. Go back to the list of services on the API docs tab and select the MySQL API. If you call the previously blank endpoint, you should see now that it contains duplicated data from your Salesforce API. To disable the script, navigate back to the Scripts tab and uncheck the two radios that were selected previously and click Save. Again, be sure to also flush the system-wide cache found within the Config tab to ensure there are no conflicts. If you now test the endpoint within the Salesforce API, you should receive a positive response without the null value that was being returned previously. And that's about it. Within just a few minutes, you've successfully duplicated your Salesforce API data within your MySQL API through Dream Factory scripting engine. 
This only scratches the surface of options that can be utilized through our scripting engine. If you'd like to learn more or set up a free trial, please use the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching.